Saints, we have been raised by society to ignore warning signals of people. Because if we were raised properly to pay attention to our intuition and to look at the bigger picture, if we were raised like that, we would have never participated in society. Because we would have seen immediately all the traps and all the scams that were laid before us. So for us to comply with society, we had to be numbed down so we wouldn't notice red flags. Now, one red flag that we all have been taught to ignore is a, a covert threat of a violent individual. We were told that if you disrespect someone, you can expect consequences. But hold up, what is respect to begin with? Respect is validation offered to someone who demands it. Respect is the following. Someone has an expectation and they expect you to give in to what they expect. And if you don't do it, they get upset and take action against you. So the whole concept of respect is based in fear and violence. I want something, I have an expectation, I make plain what I want, and if you ignore what I want, I feel hurt and I do something to you. So, this whole idea of respect is narcissistic. There's a difference between honor and respect. Honor is when you value someone, and because you value them, you treat them with value. That's different. Honor is natural. Honor is Christ-centered. Respect is demonic and diabolical because it's rooted in fear. Yet, all of us have been told to be respectful. Or in other words, the, if they don't use the word respect, say be polite, be this and that. Disrespect or being rude it equates one another. Now, what is rudeness? Rudeness simply means you didn't consider someone's expectation. Disrespect means the same thing. You didn't give in someone's expectation. Now they're upset. But hold up! Why is it that someone can just expect something from you and feel entitled to take action against you if you don't give them what they want? What is that? As children, you don't have much options. So as children, you're told to just give in to people's expectations just so they don't act out against you. Now, if you have an unstable, mentally deranged individual and you're just a child, it's the best to just give in or to just run away. That's, that's, that's correct. But the moment you become older, you should learn to recognize dangerous people. And this whole, this whole thing about disrespect is a warning signal. When someone tells you, I don't tolerate disrespect, what they're actually saying is, saying is the following. What they're saying is, I have expectations that I'm not going to explain to you, that I, that I'm, I don't feel entitled to explain. I just have expectations that I know you likely will not, will not agree with, but hey, give in to what I want. Because when I feel hurt, I'm going to take it out on you. That's what they're saying. I don't tolerate disrespect. It's simply a narcissistic statement that they are willing to attack you and to cause harm and to escalate when they don't get the validation they crave. But we were told as children and also as teenagers to be respectful. And you know what? This whole concept of respect is what's being used to let evildoers and enablers of evil off the hook. Let me explain why. Some of you had parents that were screaming at you instead of just communicating with you. Okay? They raised their voice and screamed at you. And when you did the same thing, you, you got hit or whatever. And they were to tell you to be respectful. But hold on. If it's not proper to scream at someone, why are they doing it? Why were they doing it to you? They never gave an explanation. Now look, if that situation would have happened to a boyfriend or girlfriend, or if it would have happened at work, you would have filed a, a report to the, uh, to the police and they would have been arrested. Just coming and screaming at you like that. But because you were told to respect your parents, you give in to their expectation. Look, there's a difference between having basic human decency towards your parents and honoring them. Basic human decency you have to all human beings because that's what, that's what you do when you are a proper human being. 
where having honor should only be there if someone is honorable. Respect is not even biblical, it's not even natural. It's, it's even something that we should consider. But many of you keep respecting your parents, and because of that you keep, keep giving in to their error. And now, the error of your parents is harming you as an adult. But, because you're so brainwashed by the world, you keep thinking that giving in to your parents' expectations is the right thing to do. No, it's not! When you were a child, it was different, you had no options. But the moment you were are, you in your late teens and older, you have options. You realize, okay, if mom and dad are out of their minds, I shouldn't give in to that. Because they should value me too as a human being. But the moment you have parents who keep insisting on being validated at all costs, you're dealing with a narcissistic individual. And if, if they have a history of retaliating against you, when they feel upset, you're dealing with a deranged, dangerous individual man for real it's time for you to admit that but it's not only with parents many of you respect the government oh so when the government takes advantage of you the citizens when the government lies to you when the government sets you up you still put up with the same government you don't join people to come in resistance and you don't join people to overthrow the tyranny no you just get along with it because that's the proper way to do. And then you have those pagan churches where they misinterpret Romans chapter 13 to brainwash you into bowing down to, to evil governments. Listen, the moment someone claims to have a position of authority and they abuse it and neglect it, they should be removed from office and, and, and they should be ignored altogether. That's natural, that's common sense. But a lot of folks don't revolt. When things become tyrannical, why? Because they want to be known as respectful people. What? Some of you kept going to church every Sunday, even though your natural senses were telling you, stop going to church because you're being trapped. Why? Because you're brainwashed into thinking that being respectful is something good. And I'm telling you, it's not. Those people that tell you they don't tolerate disrespect, are they saying the same thing to a police officer? Are they saying the same thing to their employer at work? Are they saying the same thing to the government or to those satanic organizations? No, they don't. Because if they say that, they may be challenged and then they have no leverage to get away with, uh, with what they stated. But with you, they see an opportunity to harm you if they can. So that's why they dare to say to you. They dare to say to you, they don't tolerate disrespect. So what they're saying is, they don't tolerate you saying no to their expectations. That's really what they're saying over there. And we were told to always make sure we respect other people. No, 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 no. We operate in basic human decency towards others, and we honor those who are honorable. If they're not honorable, we, they get no honor. Only in basic human decency. Respect, fear-based validation. Under blackmail, that's not something we do as saints. Because God, that means the Heavenly Father, has not given us a spirit of fear, but a love, power, and a sound mind. And because respect is based in fear, that means respect is not something that believers should be involved in. So, this respect is just a phrase or a term used by worldlings when they want an excuse to attack you or to attack someone. As if they are entitled to escalate and harm people when they don't have their way. Seriously, unlearn that respect nonsense. Be at peace.